Yes, it is an SLS driving in complete yeah, silence. Look at what I'm driving today. It's gonna come into focus any second. Here we go, here we go. Bam, look at that. The Sterling Moss, <laughs> first time ever. And we've got the Launder Lab behind that. I've done a whole other video on the Launder Lab. You can go check that out. But today we are gonna be driving the Sterling Moss. That's crazy. First time ever for me. We're actually visiting a German collector here, Mechatronic. So go check them out. That's their Instagram handle. Go give them some love because they have been such incredible hosts for me. And they've literally just opened up their entire garage to us today for our channel. Please make sure to subscribe, Supercar Blondie. Hit that subscribe button right now and press the bell because if you do that, you're gonna be one of the first ones to watch my vids when they come out. So these guys have literally just said, come to our garage. I'm gonna show you our entire collection and on the way to the garage, you can drive the Sterling Moss. And I've just been handed the keys. Here we go. It's always just so casual. Hey, there you go. There are the keys. Like, chuck them over to me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this is how you get into the Sterling Moss. Little door button here that you push. Makes the sound of a spaceship. Oh, by the way, we've got all our luggage in the laundrette. <laughs> they brought that just for the luggage. Oh, what is this like? Zwei Lederkappen, <laughs> ob wir die aufsetzen wollen oder nicht, obliegt euch. Oh yeah. my god, we have to do this. We yeah. have to. I think, I think you have to do I this, actually. I think we have to do this. Yeah. yeah, authentic. Let's go authentic. You are in front of the camera, so um, you take the goggle. The goggles, yep. So it's the Sterling Moss goggle, actually. Oh! Oakley design, wow. Oakley designed uh, Owen series of Sterling what? Moss. This comes with the car. It comes yeah. with the car, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have to tighten it a bit, but there you go. Before, I've never worn that, goggles that, driving a car before. The hat. Oh, That's... okay, we'll put that on first, yeah? Yeah, so... Okay. <laughs> so, and now we are talking. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I can offer you my ski mask if you want. But... <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> How cool would it be like to actually have a car named after you and have your face all over it? Wouldn't that just be epic? The key. Key in. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> How do I look? First time I'm driving a car with no windscreen. Hey. Oh, sorry. Should give it the credit that it deserves. There you go. A one inch windscreen. That should do it. <laughs> I wonder how many flies I'm going to catch on my visor today. Oh God, I just got a fly in my eye. <laughs> oh dear, this is serious. This car, I would die in the heat in Dubai. There are a few of these cars in Dubai, actually. I have seen one or two before but I've never driven one. This is the first. We're experiencing this together, guys. Buttons, we love buttons. This one's for the spoiler. Uh. Cool. This one is a supercharged V8 with 650 horsepower. We are gonna have some fun today. There's only 75 of these cars in the world. We're gonna see a couple of them today. Oh God, I just got a fly in my eye. <laughs> oh dear, this is serious. Okay. Oh my God, you really do need the goggles. Approximate value around $3 million up. It's an easy, easy drive. Feels really good. This half windscreen is putting me off a little bit because it kind of cuts your view in straight in half.
Here we go. Just arrived in the silver sterling moss. And now we have the white one with the carbon detailing. Seventy-five were made in all. Only a few colors were limited production. So the black one, there were six of those made, and then there was like this bright, like orange, colorful one. And then there were four white ones, two of those with carbon detailing. The guys here actually own both of those two, plus this silver one over here. This one actually has the wrap on it. So this guy here is Sterling Moss. He's a former F1 uh, driver. There used to be this kind of race, right? And it's called. The Mille Miglia, you can see it here on the back. And in 1955, Sterling Moss actually won in the 300 SLR, so it's a Mercedes. So as a tribute to him, uh, McLaren and Mercedes came out with the uh, Sterling Moss. None of them had his face on the actual car, only as a tribute back in 2015 when it's now a rally, the Mille Miglia. As a tribute to him, they put on this wrap in the front that has his face. 722 was his starting time. So they were all given starting times for the, for the race back then. And his was at 722 in the morning. I wouldn't be up at that time. <laughs> Mine would say like 5 p.m. I'd be cool with that. I wouldn't win anything, but I'd be cool starting that time. <laughs> this one is worth about half a million dollars more than that one. And that's for the simple fact that there are only two of this kind of sterling moss in the world with all of the carbon fiber detailing and the white body. We are at this incredible uh, collection, private collection here. All of these warehouses have the most amazing cars inside. I've just had a quick look through. There's just one that I really want to show you because it's the first time I've ever seen it and we found it just now. So come with me. Yes, it is an SLS driving in complete awesome. silence. This is an electric SLS. Who knew? There are only 10 of these, two belong still with AMG. Um, and then eight were sold to private customers, and here is one. So there are four electric motors, and the acceleration, as you can imagine, is just unbelievable. Pascal, you were, what, you were beating like P1s and... For breakfast. For bre <laughs> you were eating the P1s for breakfast. Yeah, this acceleration is like under three seconds. I mean, the range isn't amazing though, is it? It's like... 150 kilometers or whatever if you drive it sensibly. I mean the range yeah, is pretty limited yeah. So when we started in Andermatt in Switzerland, yeah. the weather was as it is in Switzerland pretty bad <laughs> Yeah, um, so and the range was showing us 250 kilometer of range. Okay, so we went over the Gotthard Pass and Yeah, we, I think it was 50% left. Oh, yeah after 15 kilometers. Wow, and then on the drag strip every single strip took us six or seven percent so really? I, I reached back to the hotel with, I think, 2% left. Wow, That's okay. Kind of, yeah. So if you push it, you've got like a max of maybe like 80, 90 kilometers. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. When you take it out, no one really knows from the back, right? They just think it's an SLS. I mean, you hear nothing, right? That's, that's you the, hear that's nothing, the exactly. That's kind of the weird thing. And then on the side, you've just got the electric drive here. It's super, super limited. Super limited. I don't think we'll ever see another car like this again. Perfect, yeah. Perfect condition. Oh, smell that. Ooh, it's so new. Didn't know I'd be doing this today, but there you go. Massive thanks to Mechatronic for having us here today. You can go check them out. This is their Instagram handle on the screen right now. Go give them some love. And just a quick note, we have some new supercar blondie gear coming very, very, very soon. Nick's actually wearing one right now. We've got the caps coming out again. This is my favorite one, actually, the logo cap. I'm called Nick Koss. And then this one here, let me know if you want us to go into production with this one. 
because we've got a few other ones that are going to come out first. This one I really like actually. It's like checkered flag but in Lucy design. This is the design on my Lamborghini I Lucy. Like it. I like it. It's cool. All right, guys, we will catch you on another video somewhere else in the world with another crazy car. We've actually got to leave for Switzerland in about half an hour, so we've got to get going. Um, we'll catch you, yeah, somewhere else. Love you. Ah, I'm out.